post traumatic stress disorder so what happens that following significant traumatic events to self or others we have this stress disorder the symptoms include intrusion symptoms which means flashback or nightmares then also uh, there can be avoidance which means avoid all stimuli which remind of the trauma also there can be arousal symptoms wherein the patient will show hyper vigilance increase startle response insomnia or concern or poor concentration and finally other symptoms like emotional numbing emotional detachment and hedonia can be seen so these are a part of post -stra traumatic stress disorder again the symptoms are intrusion symptoms where the patient can have repeatedly flashbacks and nightmares avoidance arousal and other emotional symptoms if the symptom is more than one month then we call it as post traumatic stress disorder if the symptom is for less than one month then we call it as acute stress syndrome so based on the duration we can uh, classify the disease as post traumatic stress disorder or acute stress syndrome if the symptoms occur after seeing, uh, six months then we start make a diagnosis of delayed post traumatic stress disorder now the involvement of hippocampus and amygdala is seen in post traumatic stress disorder the management is ssris also we have cognitive behavior therapy psychodynamic therapy and emdr emdr is nothing but eye movement desensitization and reprocessing this is a, a relatively latest uh, you know treatment modality